First things first, hello everybody, hope you're doing good. Friska Circuit, great to see you. I'm sure I'm still pronouncing your name wrong to some degree, and I apologize, love your face though. Now, it's Friska Circuit, it is a Homestuck character. See, okay, so I was right, I was saying it right. Also, oh my god, here we go, that's what I'm saying, look at this, that's him, that's Jimothy right there. All right, so, basically, what's, uh, what's on the agenda today, we're a little late. Uh, I had a day, I will tell you about it, at nauseum, so I hope you're ready. Uh, I have a great story about what happened, because I spent four hours at the doctor today. <laughs> um, to not get seen, basically, I would like to add. I didn't, I didn't mention that. They didn't, they didn't see me. Oh, wait. I forgot I turned my gain up. I was like, why is my audio so loud? Anyways, so, um, the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I will spill the beans, don't worry. So, anyways. Like I said, hope everybody's doing good. Earthworm Jim, let me get Darian's DMs open so I can have my little code sheet for level warps because I am not going through Junk Town again. You cannot make me, or New Junk City. You can't make me. Um. All right, let's see. Oh, I should have penned those. You know what, that's what I'm gonna... Oh, we talked about, there they are. I was like, we talked about a lot since then. All right, pen. And pin. All right, so here we fucking go. I guess I'll go ahead, hit start, uh, and then tell y'all about what I've been doing today. Let me let me get comfy and move my microphone over. Hold on. Since the SNES is on the other side of the room, I found out. You know, it's funny. I bought a uh, a boom mic for this, and it's so awesome because now I can play console games without needing the lav mics. Almost like they were a waste of money or something. Um. Anyways, so, first things first, because I'm not rude. Darian, how you doing? I'm good. What'd you do I'm today? Here, dude. Um, not much. Mostly played more Paper Mario, went out for dinner, and then now I'm here. That's what's up. Blizzy, how was your day? Uh, uh, not great, to be honest. Really? But it's getting better. Okay, yeah, well. Yeah, I, uh... I had a, like, fuck up time. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at least it is getting better. You know what I mean? Well, my son's is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, that's. I mean, it sounds like a day. Um, I, I, I thought you were talking to chat. I mean, Vriska, if you want to tell me how your day is as well, please feel free. I love, I love hearing about stuff. I, I know I say this a million and one times, but I I, I, I stream to, to talk to people. I don't do it for any other reason. So I love to hear about people's days. But um, anyways, so formalities aside, and I will respond if you tell me how your day is. I'll just not, So my current setup, I'm looking chats to my left and I'm looking like forward at the screen. So I'll try to like have it somewhere I can see it like at the angle. But if I miss it for a few seconds, I will turn eventually and get to it. So, um, my so okay okay i guess the best way to put this yo yo Vriska! oh my goodness thank you for the two month resub oh my god i can't believe it bomb squad hype hype Woo! XD. Woo! <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for the sub i really appreciate that i genuinely also i guess now is the time to tangentially talk about that um I think we're three subs away from getting another socked foot stream of me doing DDR pad games on Steam. So if you like DDR pad gaming where you see me play uh, socked feet, unless you pay like hundreds of dollars, I'm not going to let out the dogs for free. I know better than that. But, um, but point is we could do DDR pad games. Oh, damn. Oh, yo, I was being tangential. I didn't think it was going to happen like that. I need the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you would you would have a foot fetish you freak no oh my god that's so funny first of all first of all okay thank you for the five gifted subs what the fuck whip it out no whip them out. i didn't say we're gonna do it immediately i gotta uh, 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 god damn it. <laughs> did i hear dogs grippers even but no um okay okay so so ddr pad gaming I gotta, I gotta, what's it called? I gotta get a day for it and I gotta figure out the games. Last time we did, uh, oh fuck, what was it? Friday Night Funkin' and Party Hard. That's what we did last time. And I busted a sweat so hard that I ruined the finish on my headphones. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, do you not know about that? 
So I busted a sweat so hard doing DDR pad gaming last time that I ended up, uh, I sweated so hard that I, I soaked the headphone cups and it ruined the, like the faux leather finish on the Raycons. So now it's like coming up and chipping because I wore them during the DDR pad stream. Ouch. Yeah, but you know what? It's like one of those things where it was worth it. I mean, I know they're like 80 bucks or something, but it's like at the end of the day, it was really fun. And the DDR pad stream, I, what was it? We had to cut it at three and a half hours because I was pissing sweat. <laughs> But yeah. But yeah, so anyways, okay, okay, so first things first. Um I guess I'll have to like find a list of games and then see which ones to do because I feel like I should let you you pick Friska. Um basically what I do is I have a DDR pad, a red octane DDR pad that I plug into the computer with just a bunch of adapters. It's great. Um and then I use Joy to key to bind them to key inputs, and that's how we do it, right? So I just gotta find a game that has enough key inputs to fit on a DDR pad, and then I can do any game really. And that would be the stream. You can do whatever. Okay, Poggies. I'll have to I'll have to find some fun stuff. Maybe like try to find two or three games. Friday Night Funkin' is a really easy one because it's just the arrow keys, and so you just bind it to the DDR pad. Admittedly, and I know it is just Dance Dance Revolution at that point, but it was more fun with the DDR pad. <laughs> okay, let me hang on. I haven't gone to the level yet. Let me let me put in the the hell level code. Okay. I, I put a new I put a new soundboard on. Y X oh, Y X new sound. A B A X. What'd you do? Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I had to. Hell yeah! Oh shit! I need to change that. The Discord's 16 plus now because we got rid of the liability NSFW channels except for memes because memes are funny. Haha, <laughs> penis funny. Haha, <laughs> 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 and by it I mean my penis. <laughs> Dicks even. <laughs> Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get back into the the grove here. So for anyone that wasn't here for the first episode, we got out of New Junk City. It was really fucking hard. We're using level warps, but we're not using any other cheat codes. We have to get through each level in a set of th technically four lives because zero counts. Um, our friend, hard. our friend Jimothy, been going through it uh, for real, for real. We're gonna be trying to make a grappling hook jump. That's a double jump for like the next hour probably, uh, and then. We're going to be dealing with hellhounds that will gimp me out of unnecessary amounts of damage. So, you know, that that's that's what to expect. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's already starting. It's already starting. Okay, here we go. We're good. We're good. We're only 20% down. It's fine. Um, Let's see. I enjoy your streams more than my regulars. You deserve... Aw! Aw! Stop that. Not you, not you worming your way into my heart. Get out of there. You might be slightly intoxicated, but your stream is wonderful. Aw! Oh fuck! Hang on. Okay, give me like a minute to make sure I don't get absolutely pissed drunk. But I will totally take a take a drink with you for that one. Some some kampai shit, you know. Um, speaking of, for people in the Discord, we recently added a Japanese class chat. You wanna you wanna have friends to learn Japanese with? A bunch of like six of us just started day one. Um, and I gotta say it's been a lot of fun. I I didn't think that Duolingo was gonna be so sick. I might actually like pick up a family plan or something. Um, dear God. 30% health. These hellhounds suck. Okay, a lot of these first runs are going to be trial-y. All right, real quick. Let me tell y'all about my day. So, uh, I went to bed at three, like every fucking all-star, because uh, I am... I mean, at this point, probably ADHD, and I'll just admit it, because I valued staying up and showing Milo the new Doug Doug video more than going to bed. Um... So I stayed up and showed her the new AI home invasion Doug Doug video, like you do. Uh, stayed up until three. Woke up at 7.20 naturally. You know it's fucked up when you wake up before your alarm because you're so anxious about what you have to- Oh, damn, the fire got me. Um, because of what you have to do for the next day, right? And so I get up. I'm like, fuck it, I'll just go. Like, like so basically these clinics, it's a clinic that's like walk-in, but it's a public service clinic. It's free. It's like funded by the government. So, you know, people go get there at opening and they fill up really quickly. Like they, uh... They had one doctor taking a day off or something, or they were out sick or something, and they could only see two people for the whole day. Just to give you an idea. Um, so once I heard, they're like, oh, we can only see two people today. Uh, also 50% health, that's some bullshit. So they're like, oh, we can only see two people today. Uh, and then they're like, can you come back Friday? And I'm like, I'm gonna be here before opening if that's the case. I'm gonna treat this like the Animal Crossing Switch Edition release. Way more extremely than I should. Except this time it paid off for me. So... I ended up getting there at 7.30 and there's this nice woman, I think her name was Martha, I'm not sure, uh, maybe like in her 80s, 
uh, African American woman. And I love, I love that I guess I just have an approachable, youthful face because even the fucking diagnostician said I had baby face. Um, uh, because she immediately goes, good morning. And I'm just like, oh, good morning. How are you? She goes, oh, I'm good. And, sh uh, and I'm, I'm like, you know, like nice weather considering it's in the middle of the summer. And she goes, yeah, you know, we start talking and, uh, she became kind of like one of my buddies. Apparently I became buddies with a lot of people that I will never see again, which is kind of sad, but also expected. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. So basically, um, we get, so I get there at 7.30, doors open at exactly 7.52. And I know because I'm looking at my phone when they unlock the door and immediately someone cuts me in line. Um, and it's like, oh, oh, what the fuck? But it's also like, if it was going to be a huge issue, like if they weren't going to like let me in because like somebody got there before me, then I was just going to like turn to the woman and be like, you saw me here. Like I was here first, you know, and she'd back me up. And so, uh. But thankfully, it, it was not only not a big deal, but it was mostly just people that were driving other people to this clinic. So I ended up, um, so I ended up going and I was like third in line, which is great. Ended up getting the, the appointment. Uh, I'm thinking, oh sweet. And I didn't bring any caffeine. I didn't drink any energy drinks. I didn't drink any coffee, nothing like that. Because I thought if I get turned away, I want to be able to go back and go to sleep. It's early as shit in the morning, and I'm having trouble waking up before 2 p.m. these days. So, you know, it's I'm so tired. I'm running on four hours of sleep. Keep that in mind as well. So, we end up uh, finally getting in, getting the paperwork filled out, uh, and then the way this works is there's diagnosticians, and then there are doctors. So there's people with appointments that are going in, and then there's people that are getting walk-in diagnostics done. Um, the way their policy works is they do kids first. So immediately when this nice woman and her kids showed up, they did them first. Uh, a bunch of us didn't get why until, uh, it was funny because she ended up coming out later and explaining it to us. But the way it works is they got her first, then they did a bunch of appointments. And, uh, and then after they did a bunch of appointments, they did finally like the, the lady that I think her name was Martha, right? I, again, I thought we'll just call her Martha. Let's just call her Martha for the story. Um, and so Martha ends up finally going in, but we're talking like eight, like we're talking like one walk-in has gone in the kid and then the, um, the rest of them were appointments and they have not seen anybody. And Miss Martha was first, right? And so she's over here and every time she walked to, she was standing outside because it was really cold in there. And, um, every time she walks in, she would look at me and be like, you're still here. And I'm just like, yeah. And she goes, you were here when I was here. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Fucked up how that works. Right. And so. Um, by this point, it gets to be later. We're talking, they opened at eight. We're it's 10 o'clock now by the time Miss Martha gets seen. I've been waiting there for two and a half hours and I am obviously so fucking tired and there's no public bathroom. Uh, I'm sorry. The heck is this doctor's office? A publicly funded one in the States. So like, <laughs> so that everyone's a government employee. No one gives a shit and they close at five and oh, don't open on weekends what is the american healthcare system yeah yeah well you know what though i will say at least they didn't if you don't have insurance then it's completely free to be seen so i can't complain because i was not about to spend money because my uh when it comes to adhd diagnosis as an adult uh it's really fucking complex because nobody does it anymore uh apparently it's just too involved because you have to like have a whole interview process as opposed to just looking at a kid that's like seven and being like yup um which is funny because my mom's a therapist. She went, I think a lot of your early ADHD got covered up because you were in the gifted and talented program. And I think that was just like a way for you to get out of it. First of the record, gifted and talented is not like special ed. It was like for like really creative people, right? So, um, anyways, uh, so, you know, 1030, you know, Miss Martha's gone in, uh, and, and I didn't mention this, so I guess I should at 830. Uh, I, and I didn't know this at the time, but a bunch of people arrived. We're talking 10 people arrived all at once. Uh, and only, <laughs> only two of them get paperwork before they turn people away. They open at eight. They stop taking walk-ins at 830, right? So first of all, you can immediately tell that they are spread buttery thin. And, um, and not only are they spread buttery thin, but they, uh, you know, so like they took like, I think six or eight appointments for the whole day. And it turns out they really fucking need that between the appointments and everything, because, you know, they come in, um, these two chicks, they end up sitting next to me, and they end up filling out their paperwork, and then immediately leave, and 
<laughs> I, I oh my god so I'm gonna go ahead and let you meet the gang because this story is far from over okay so here's here's the gang we are currently dealing with it is me this one chick who is there for postpartum depression uh, I didn't catch her name, and I didn't catch anyone's name, actually. And then we have two girls that came in from this long line of people, and the mom and her son, and the mom is wearing a hijab, which is, you know, sick. I mean, she looked nice. She was killing it. I mean, she looked really beautiful. Um, right. Like, seriously, seriously, like, absolutely just a knockout. And I was like, ah, oh, man. And, and, you know, most people would just be, like, giving shit for that kind of stuff around here, especially because it's Texas. So it's just, like, I, I like seeing diverse populace in my area, because usually you just get hicks around here. Um... But oh shit, I forgot about the oh I forgot about the lawyers. Who ya? No, who ya? No! He fucking subpoenaed me to death. Damn! <laughs> Can't believe you'd blame me for your nap. Uh, you told me it was a good idea, and it was at the time because my brain wasn't functioning. But I woke up in so much worse shape, like I said I would. <laughs> I never should ever listen to anyone that says take a nap. It's not ideal for me. I wake up looking like the Lemmy meme. Um. So uh. Anyways, I... Okay, so the bus full of people gets there at 8.30, so backtracking a little, but I promise we'll skip back to time in the future. Um, and they sign up, and they immediately leave and come back with a soda, and uh, and it's really funny, because they're, like, really watching the windows and doors, and I'm like, why? <laughs> right? And uh, then one of them leans over to me, and she says, hey, if that lady out there asks, this soda is yours. And I'm like, oh, it's like that. I was like, I got you. And so... I was like, I was like, I love soda. You can tell. I'm a little bit on the fatter side at the moment because of, I'm just gonna blame COVID. It was definitely because of COVID and not a pre-existing thing I've been dealing with for a lot of my youth. Definitely not. <clears throat> Copium over. I um, I I was like, okay, I got you. And then um, the postpartum girl that's there she ends up hitting me up and she's like hey and it's really funny because she she starts her sentence with so this isn't the best way to start this conversation but what are you in for and i love that because she's hit you know she's talking to me like first of all like you would talk to someone a in prison and b uh whenever i was in the mental hospital for a short time in my like when i was 22 uh that's that's how people talk to each other there as well it's not a very it's not a very it's not a very friendly way to like introduce yourself and stuff it's very interesting it's like so what are you in for like implying something's wrong and of course i uh like a very sane and normal person you know because like i don't know i i think i can vibe with most people in a general conversation and so i was this like she's like what are you in for and i'm like i think i got adhd what about you she goes i had a baby and uh, i failed my postpartum screening and i was like gotcha I don't know what that means, but it sounds like it sucks. I didn't say it like that. I said it with more compassion, of course, but I also was just like, damn, I don't know what that's like, but I'm sure it's rough. You know, and I was talking about Blizzy. I was like, you know, I was like, I know the homie Blizzy just recently had a kid and uh, I know it can be a lot, right? And so we talked about that for a little bit and like the stuff that she'd gone through and you know, she's like, oh, it's my second kid and my husband, oh my God, for the record, Blizzy, are you here? No, he's still BRB, okay. So I, I just, I, it's crazy to me. If you ever think that you got married quickly on a whim, apparently they were dating for like, or like it was like three weeks between when the proposal happened and the wedding, which is just such a short amount of time. Also, I'm losing way too much health on this guy. I need to jump more. There we go. All right. Anyways, so uh, we, I finished talking to postpartum girl and uh, then I end up talking to the two girls that had the soda. And, you know, they're telling me about <clears throat> how they're in rehab. And I was like, oh, so that explains why 10 people just showed up all at once. So they they explained, okay, so like, you know, we're in rehab. Uh, I, they both, I think both of them just got out of prison. And, um, and they were like here getting health checkups. And then uh, one of them was gonna go back to San Antonio and the other one lived here. And so they were here doing that. And of course, obviously, noticeably, like, frustrated with how slow things are and how few people could get seen. Um, but they end up talking to me, and uh, we end up... Uh, I forgot how the conversation got shifted to ASL, but we talked about ASL. <clears throat> and uh, and so I was talking about Duolingo, because I've been doing Duolingo for Japanese, as I said before. And whenever I said that, uh, she goes, hit me with some Japanese right now. And it just so happens that I was at a doctor's office and I just learned how to express that in Japanese. 
And so I said, Kore wa isha desu, right? And, and they're like, what does that mean? And I was like, this is the doctor. And I felt like the coolest motherfucker that ever motherfuckered in my life. Um, and so, uh, I ended, you know, and so we end up talking about, like, you know, they talk about rehab and, um, one of the chicks tells us like, you know, like basically her whole story. And it wasn't like it wasn't interesting. It's just, I don't know all of it, but apparently it involved like, oh my God, it was crazy. She's like, oh my, my, I, she's like my DOC and a crew, immediately I picked up that was drug of choice. Um, she's like, my DOC was PCP, but I also smoked. Um, and I would wrap my, my, the, like I wrapped what I smoked in embalming fluid. And I know what that is. I was like, you fucking, yeah, that's a, you know, there's a lot of nicknames for that, but the nickname I know it by is love boat. And I'm just like, you smoked Love Boat? That's crazy. Because smoking embalming fluid, obviously not the best thing for you. Um, but yeah, I thought that was insane. So I end up getting seen at 1030 after talking with everyone for so long. And the, the mom and the kid ended up explaining after they ended up coming back out how the process worked. There's like, they have to basically find out who you are and to figure out like that you definitely don't have insurance. Because if you do have insurance, then they're not going to see you. You have to either have uh, Medicaid or you have to have uh, no insurance. And uh, I guess, I don't want to say thankfully, but the situation is I don't got insurance, so I was fine. Um, they took me back. They started questioning me. The questioning was interesting. She immediately tells me, even though I called on the phone and was like, can I get screened for ADHD here? It runs in my family, apparently. I think I got it bad, right? And, uh, and the person on the phone was like, oh yeah, we do that. No problem. And if you're, di uh, if you're diagnosed, we'll even do your medication for free. And I'm like, sick. I need that right now because I broke a shit. So, um, I end up, you know, doing all this waiting. I finally get to see her. And the first thing she says is, okay, I'm going to be up front with you. I can't, I can't treat you. And I was like, what do you mean you can't treat me? I mean, uh, she goes, I can't technically diagnose you. I, she didn't really mention why, but she just mentioned that apparently ADHD is stupid hard to diagnose because of, like, everything it takes in adults. Um, and, like, all the, uh, you have to, like, have a six-hour session, not a six-hour session, but, like, a bunch of hours of sessions equaling six hours where they basically look at you and be like, yep, and then write a whole thesis about your mental disability. Um, and that is how you have to really get it done. Thankfully, I live in a college town, so one of my options I'm going to find out about on Monday is getting the college to do it and just have them because they train people that are getting their doctorates and stuff to, you know, treat this kind of stuff. And so to do part of the training, you can submit and then they do slider based pay based on like how much money you make. And since I don't make any at the moment, technically on paper, then, you know, I should be able to maybe even get it for free. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So I'll know about that on Monday. But to wrap it up, I get brought into this office. And it's, you know, she's like, oh, pardon the mess. I'm, you know, moving the office and stuff like that. And, uh, no, damn it. I was hoping I'd get that on the first try. We're at that fucking notorious double swing. Um, so yeah, I'm back there and she's like, so you're here because you want to get an ADHD screening? And I was like, yes, I would like that very much, please. And preferably just, you know, I would like to get, just get this over with. Because at this point in my time, uh, so I didn't think much of it until I saw Jaden Animation's video on okay, it. I'm gonna take a really quick hit and then I'll be back. Yeah, you're good. Hell yeah. <laughs> but yeah, basically, I watched Jaden Animation's video on ADHD and it just made me go, hmm. And like, we used to, we joke around uh, a lot with saying I have ADHD and that I'm a double goldfish with my attention span. But it stopped being funny when I saw like how much of the experience Jaden had that I had, except for being a model student. I was never a model student. My third grade teacher even gave me a sticker system that she only gave to ADHD kids. And my mom <laughs> didn't even see that as a red flag. My mom did not even see it. She was my mom's colleague. They worked at the same school. <sighs> Anyways, so I go in there and she's talking to me and she's like, oh, this is, I think his name was Javier. I don't remember her name. She's like, this is like Javier. So she's immediately training somebody. He's like, hello. I'm like, hey. And then they, um, uh, super chill about my non binariness which is cool. Cause like, I, I just, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's just like, I, uh, I like to not be bothered and it's nice when people don't bother me. So whenever, uh, they end up sitting me down, they're like, okay, well, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. So they start asking about like, you know, my home life and why I think so. I was like, oh God, my dad and my brother have it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just, I'm going, and of course I'm nervous as absolute shit. So I am, even though it's like, I know that shaking your leg is a thing that you do if you have ADHD, I'm doing it right the fuck now, right? 
and uh, I didn't want to like not do it, but I didn't want to like do it on purpose and like give. Like, you know, I didn't want to like taint my results by not being authentic. So immediately, I'm being super conscious about everything I'm doing, and um, and essentially, I I get to the point where she's like, okay, so you think this is why you have it because of your family? You know, uh, I need you to do me a favor. I said, okay, what's this favor? She says, I need you to remember three words for me. And I was like, fucking easy words. I got a lot of them. <laughs> and, uh, and she's like, okay. She goes, clock, lamp, and it's either pencil or pen. And I'm like, the, and immediately I comment. I was like, those are all things on your desk. That's kind of easy, don't you think? And she goes, uh, just trust me. I was like, okay. And so we asked more questions. You know, and I get tangential, and oh my god, I could not script this while talking about the fact that I I can't remember things sometimes, and I'll forget what I'm saying mid-sentence. I was like, what was I talking about? And she goes, you answered the question, and I was like, oh, <laughs> great. So, so that wasn't great. Um, and so I, it gets to the point where... <laughs> <laughs> it gets to the point where we're finally at the end of this interview and uh and she goes what were those three words that i said to you and i was like oh that's fucking easy it was all stuff on your desk it's the clock the lamp and the pencil or the pen and she's like all right i'm gonna give you uh i was like i'll accept that answer she goes renee i can't know i told you from the beginning i can't diagnose you today but she says i am 80 or more percent sure that you are adhd and i'm like Wow, great. Good to know. Good to know that between my mom and this lady, two professionals are like, yep, along with all my friends and my brother and everybody ever, but apparently medication's gonna be the hard part about that. Anyways, so I, I and so I'm like, okay. And she goes, so you know how I asked you about those those three items? And I was like, of course, how could I forget? This was two minutes ago. Um, she goes, so if you were ADHD with, uh, uh, apparently there's three kinds of ADHD. There's, uh, or actually a bunch of them, but there's like three main kinds. And she told me that the, uh, she told me that there is, uh, a psychotic and manic ADHD. And I exactly know what a mania is because when I was really bad with depression in my like early twenties and stuff, I was manic depressive. And so, uh, I was like, oh, very familiar with that. And she goes, I know you're not, uh, psychosis or, uh, manic when it comes to your ADHD because, uh, you were able to remember that and you display very, very linear and organized thinking, which for the record is fucked up to hear because I'm here because I strictly don't feel organized. So, so for someone to tell me that my thinking is incredibly linear, <laughs> oh, I did it, let's go. But for someone to tell me my, my thinking is incredibly linear and, and that I, I have like, you know, like the more focusing kind of ADHD potentially. I'm just like, what the fuck? Then why can't I focus on anything ever since my childhood? That was always a problem. God damn it. Because it's okay. That you, was our practice round. Why? Why? Because it's gotta be. Because it's gotta be a hyper focus. It can't be a regular focus. No, that's why I'm learning Japanese so fucking quickly. I'm hyper fixated on it. Yeah, Fuck it. I yeah, am. I, I am uh, yippying my goddamn brains out right now. Um. Um. I. I know. I know. The only reason I know as much Spanish as I do is because every few months I'll hyper focus on doing Spanish on Duolingo. Yeah. And I will like kill Spanish for like Yo, uh, weeks, uh, and then I won't touch it for months. You know me, Blizzy, I'm a gamer. I can't ever see myself putting down Duolingo. They said streak and I went, uh oh, and then I installed the widget so I would never forget. Um But yeah, basically, uh so to wrap up the story, she tells me all that and I'm like noticeably sad at this point because I just basically got the diagnosis that I've been waiting for but also not the diagnosis I've been waiting for on paper right and it bothers me because I perceive she's like you have three options you can spend thousands of dollars in therapy I'm like don't got that uh and I don't got insurance and she's like you could uh go get seen at the college which could be anywhere from free to like four hundred dollars and they do payment plans hooray I guess um, so I'm hoping that with, she's like, with no income, you might be able to get it either really cheap or, you know, like free. But the thing is that they do your household income. So thankfully Milo and I aren't fucking married because we technically have separate income. Like on paper, she's kind of a roommate at that point. You like that conservatives? Anyways. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I, and plus I wouldn't be able to afford our combined Happy income. Pride. You're fucking right. Happy pride. Um, so, uh, Anyways, and for the record, I hate, I hate, you know, shooting at, I'll, I'll make political jokes here and there, but when it comes to my personal beliefs, I hate everybody so goddamn much, I don't even know where I'm at.
I, 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 loathing. Loathing is my political party. So, um, anyways, and so she's like, you can go there, maybe pay $400. I'm like, I don't got any money like that, right? And then she goes, and then there's this option. And this is the option I was fearing. She goes for $20. And I was like, oh, that's such a good price. $20 is such a perfect price for mental health services. <laughs> right? She goes, you can go to, she says, you can go to this place. And I won't say the name of the place because you could immediately Google it. Not say, I mean, most people know I live in the College Station area, but that's not like exactly correct. I say College Station for a reason because that's not like my shipping address. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's, you looking at the games, buddy? Oh, my boy, he looking at the games. He's looking at Blizzy's games to be specific. So um, anyways, to, uh, fuck, what was I saying? Oh my God, I'm so it's crazy um, for twenty dollars yeah yeah for $20. yeah, yeah. So, so i'm not gonna say the name of the place but it it's got like 1.9 stars on google reviews and i had seen it before and the reviews are terrible point point hey get out don't do that <laughs> anyways so uh and the reviews are terrible and everyone has terrible reviews on them and she goes uh and, and of course the lady tries justifying it she's like well you know she's like well you know people you know it's not always reflective she's like here we always get like i have a bunch of negative reviews about me and i was like yeah but you guys have 3.9 stars and she see, she was like really and i was like yeah that's a, that's a big deal that's why i'm here is <laughs> because you guys got 3.9 stars like, it's not that I trust Google reviews with, like, every fiber of my being, but I know when to look at something and know if it's being gamified or if it's, um, or if it's, like, legit concern. You know, one of my doctors has horrifying reviews. Uh, and, yeah, and it's one of those things where I wish I would have known before I went, because it would have kept me from going. Um, and not my current doctor, but, like, a doctor from, God, like, my just out of college days. Um, so, essentially... You know, she tells me it's twenty dollars. You can go there, and I'm just like, you know, at first I'm like, well, maybe even if it's terrible, I could go and see what's what for twenty dollars. Worst they can do is tell me no, right? Um, and and this is like the difficult part because it's it's it gets frustrating this exact moment. I don't need a stimulant right to be treated, but I don't know if it's not what I need, and that's the biggest thing. I don't know if it's not what I need. Uh, and so immediately she says, but they do not prescribe stimulants, AKA they don't, they don't prescribe you Adderall. Like, you know, I'm not saying I want Adderall, but if it's what I need, then I gotta get it, right? And, um, and so it just sucks because I want a doctor that would consider all options, you know, cause for the betterment of the patient at that point. And, and it's just one of those things, it's very infuriate, infuriating at that point, just because you know, they're so inexpensive, but they have terrible reviews. And then they got, you know, a history of just like, so what are they gonna give me? Some shit that, I mean, like, and it could work, but it's also like a lot of the proven stuff are stimulants, specifically when it comes to Adderall. So it's just like, if it's what I need, then I need to make sure I can get what I need. Cause if I don't get what I need, I've been through this already. It's annoying trying to fine tune medication. Antidepressants and anti-anxieties, you might as well be playing roulette. And Blizzy, you know, you can back me up on that one when it comes to oh, to medication. Yeah. You know, a lot of it can be really good. A lot of it's trash and doesn't help you. Um, it took, it took, um, uh, actually, the, the, the PPD for me to finally get the medication combo that works for me. Yeah, see? And for me, I had to go through, um, uh, I had to go through... I think it was two or three antidepressants before finally getting on venophylaxine, which I'm no longer on because I'm in a better place now. But it's just like, you know, at the time, it took so long for me to finally get on venophylaxine. And then immediately, once I did, you know, shit started turning around because I was suddenly... My biggest issue with my uh, depression cycle was uh, finding contemptness with being bored. I, uh, if, if I, if I had time to be bored, I had time to spiral. But, uh, yeah, so... You know, it sucks, but at the moment I'm in contact with the, Ow. with you know, the college and hopefully, damn it, I fell off. Uh, and hopefully they'll be able to get me in. They, the, the lady on the phone seemed very optimistic. She was like, um, she's like, well, if you don't have any income or insurance, this should be, you know, 
This should be pretty good. Uh, we'll have to like call you back and like screen you to make sure you're good fit for the program. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I am like one of the most honest people I know. And I'm not gonna like, you know, I, I'm not gonna like not talk to my doctor about smoking the Zaza because they need to know that shit and they legally can't tell anybody, you know? It's not like I'm not comfortable with sharing personal information if it benefits me or the people around me, right? Um, so, I'm gonna get a call on Monday, and then I'll find out if I'm good for this program, and then if so, I might be able to find a way to, out of this that's not gonna cost just stupid money or be more than likely inadequate care from a place with a history of inadequate care. And that- that just sucks. Cause like that doctor I mentioned that I hated, like I I wish that I had the money to do a malpractice suit. Like she was uh, charging the insurance wrong on purpose, and then making me pay like hundreds and like hundreds of dollars for appointments, like two fifty, and then thousands for blood work, which I get done for a hundred dollars at the moment, right? With no insurance, and I had insurance back then. And when I asked her why, she got up, left the room, and ended the uh, ended the the appointment. Like, th that kind of feeling is so fucked up. Especially for somebody that you should be trusting. You know, so it's like, I don't want to have that feeling ever again. So I'm very careful about who I see for medical help. I like my doctor. But yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Last bit of the story. So I do all that. I get home at 1130, which is when they stop accepting walk-ins for the record. So I was there for like... Let's see, 7, 30, 8, 30, 9, 30, 10, 30. I was there for four hours exactly, nearly. Uh, didn't, didn't get a diagnosis, got a piece of paper. One of the phone numbers didn't even fucking work on the piece of paper, so I was really mad at that point. Uh, like, the number was just not in service, and I had to Google the number because they got a new one. And so it's just like, oh, I feel, like, so fucking disregarded right now. I get home, and we knew this was going to happen all week, but the water was shut off because, uh, because we don't pay for our water, and they were fixing the piping. And it's gonna be off tomorrow as well because they got a they actually found the leak today and they're gonna fix it tomorrow And so like after all this four hours of sleep four hours at the doctor Wow, <laughs> but yeah four hours of sleep four hours at the doctor and I get home to the water being shut off And I only remember because there was no bathroom in this doctor's office and I had to piss like a fucking racehorse So immediately I flush the toilet and go I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that the water's off. It's Friday <laughs> Immediately I realized it was Friday well, you know, one time won't like. Well, yeah, but like immediately, the barely even refilled, and I'm like, and we have to, and they're like, oh, it's a. By the time I got home, it was noon, and I had used the bathroom, and the, and the post said the water would be back on in the late afternoon, and I'm like, and my stomach was feeling bad, and I'm like, oh my god, and we didn't buy any water at the store because we'd forgotten, and so I'm just like, I am so, I'm just so goddamn mad, and so I get home, and thankfully Bob hits me up. She's like, you want to play games? I'm like, yeah. And then I go smoke because I'm just like really disappointed and just like, ah, you know? So after after being upset, getting home, uh, me and Bob just kind of talk for a while. And then I am brain dead at this point because I'm like so tired that my neurons are firing constantly. And I can't think of anything other than brr, right? And so um, I was like, I'm going to take a nap. Worst mistake. I ended up sleeping instead of an hour for three hours. I woke up feeling like roadkill. Now I'm here. That was my day. That was my whole day. Also, Scott, I didn't say this, but I hope you're doing good. Admittedly, I'm doing so much better with this, uh, this round right now. Don't tell me to burn. That's what the whole area around you already. Oh my god, guys, I am so sorry for what's gonna happen during CarolCon. I found out, you know how we just got out of uh, an El Nino? La Nina. Yeah. So apparently seven out of 10 hottest Texas summers occur during La Nina years. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, also, that's right. congratulations, Caro. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta work on dodging. Protect my wormy body. <laughs> oh no. Ow! God damn! At least I have three lives to deal with this guy. Wall. A. A. 
A A A A A A A A A A I've heard that before. I think it's Navi, like in the Blue People movie. The Smurfs. I'm working on... Let's go. God, I'm so mad. I, I wanted to put out a Caro comic, but like, for, like, I put out, like, I had a page, and then immediately I was like, I considered what I wanted to do with the story, because I wanted to make it be story, but I also wanted to make it uh, opened for like, bits like i wanted to be able to like make little comics about stuff milo and i do around the house you know because like we have interactions that are kind of funny and um let's go oh and i got well okay i almost perfected him give me back my suit finish finish him Ow. Ow. oh this part's fun what the fuck i thought it was over after that oh my god Gotta remember, what's what is evil? Oh, damn it. No. I'm gonna fucking die. I don't remember if they start you from phase one of the evil fighter, or if you just start on this on this. Part. They better start me here. That's crazy. Uh, Navi, isn't she the uh the annoying fairy from Legend of Zelda? Yes, she is. Yeah, I figured they start you off and finish him. Oh my god! I'm not gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna survive. Bro, he's like impossible to know where he's coming from. You can see his eyes in the darkness before he gets to you. You what? His eyes will literally be coming at you from the background. You gotta make sure you pay attention to that. I can't even see him. No, like that's so fucked. You cannot see him before he jumps onto the screen. Look, look at that! There is no warning before he comes out. Oh, fuck this dude so bad. This is my last life. Yeah, you only- yeah, you gotta shoot him nine times. Nine?! Yeah, he's a cat. Shut the fuck up. That's not- it's not a joke. I know it's not a joke. I'm not gonna survive. There's no way. Yeah, you know, that's the strategy I would do as a kid. I'd just bam and hope I hit. Did he just dab? Did he just dab? Did Earthworm Jim just dab? Congratulations, you've cleared what the heck. I need verification. Did he just dab? Did that man just dab? Also, hooray. We're gonna be heading to bed now. Uh, also, can you see the yellow? Uh, you can see his yellow eyes coming in from the edges. What the fuck? I, I was looking at the edges. I couldn't see him. Oh, yeah. shit. Hold on. Before I let this go any farther, I didn't even get to show you guys the new features from stream. Hang on. Let me let me show you guys. So for bits, not things, you can do message effects now, like hang on, I'll just show you guys everything. So it's like this. So you can get with this. Or hang on, hang on. Or like or like this. I don't know if it's showing up for y'all, is it? I can't tell because it doesn't show up on my side. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this does. I don't- I don't know what this does. 
Yeah, I've never I've never done the full screen effect, so I don't know if that does anything. Uh, and then my favorite, personally, big emote. <laughs> I think that's a good one. That's that's a fun one right there. <laughs> Huge. Using Twitch app, it's showing up as normal. Oh, okay. It might just be on. Uh, it might just be on computer then, because they just added these features to like every channel. By the way, if anyone in chat has any ideas, what should we do for our next sub goal? I believe that is 30 for the next one? Yippee! We could do another you laugh, you drink if we schedule it. And honestly, if anyone ends up like fulfilling it, I think I just let you pick. But we could do, you know, more DDR. I mean, no, we, I just, we just got the DDR pad games, but if you wanted to double up on it, we could. What the fuck? I didn't know I was low on health. Fuck. Is there a way for me to get back to that specific level right there, Darian? A uh, specific anti-asteroids? No. No. Damn it. Yeah. All right. Well, where's the where's the code for the next level? I'll get it. For... Thank you. Hold on, I got you. I wanted to win Asteroid Andy, but also I'm not doing hell again. I don't wanna. Do you want me to set you up with other Andy asteroids? I can. Uh, what do you mean set me up? There's a direct warp to Andy asteroids. Oh yeah, if you want to do that Andy asteroids again, I'd do it. Yeah. I can't, I don't know if it's going to be the right Andy Asteroids, but you'll still get a chance. And I don't know what comes after it, so. Oh. Okay. That's the problem. I mean, yeah. I, I'm down to see. I'm, I'm down to at least see. But if it takes me back to hell, then that would suck. I'll give you the code for after, of course. Okay. Auto Fox rollout, big C fast roll. <laughs> Auto Fox rollout. <laughs> also, hey, Nova. How's, oh my god, I didn't even ask. How's your day been? Uh, you know, I, I didn't really get a chance. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Oh, that's Bob sassing me. There you go. Both codes are in. I like you. how Andy Asteroids has a question mark. A plus L. Oh my god, this one's so much harder. Okay. A L A R A A B B X B. Got it. Andy, oh, <laughs> Andy Asteroids has a question mark on it normally. Beep, beep. Man, I warrant I don't know exactly where this is going to be going. Okay. I don't know if this is going to take what's going to take you out there. It lets me prove I, myself. I was wondering what happened, Blizzy. I was like, well, where did he go? Oh, I didn't, uh, what was it? I didn't even, uh, I'm, I'm in streamer mode. I didn't even hear shit. Yeah, no. I was like, I'm like, okay. Oh, did Blizzy leave? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, hang on. Is he in the AFK? No. No? Yippee! Homie went from getting lit to being gone. What is he in the chat? He's saying net died. Oh, he's saying net died. Oh, rip. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm doing... I'm, I am Asteroid Andy right now. Nobody can stop me. I fucking love when you do that to Psycho. Just push him into a rock. Okay, Darian, if you know anything about me, uh, you gotta see me play more racing games. I am a bitch when it comes to shoving people into the side wall. racing games are It's fun. No, well, you know what? You're the first person to ever say that. Thank you. That actually means a lot. <laughs> Most people refuse to play racing games with me. In the way I that, mean, in the way that well, I, I will not play fighting games with Milo on our free time, we have to be streaming. She's too good. She's too good. Oh, look at that lasso! That's some yeah. <laughs> Didn't even notice I was gone. I see how it is. You heard me. You heard me say that I'm in streamer mode. I don't get the doo doo. Like I guess I don't know where it's gonna take you after. It took me back to Andy Asteroids. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna want to reset the game. <laughs> or just pause. I was gonna say, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just pause it. That's so funny. All right, up, down, left. Wait, left and down? Ugh, left, down, down, up, left, down. Yeah, of course that didn't work. Okay. Up, down, left, down, left. Fuck, that's down. 
That's stupid. Up, down, left, down, left, down, down, up, left, down. How? This is a four-way controller. I hate that they asked me to do this. Earthworm gem fucking makers were on some shit. All right, let's see. Cerveza Cristal. Hey, baby. No, stream streamer <laughs> mode can 100% hear your entry noise. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it doesn't. It's it's the it's the system sounds from Discord, like DM pings. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Let's 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 get this going again. Let's see. Up, down, left, down, left. Fuck, that's down again. I'm so bad. Up, down, left, down, left, down. Uh, fuck, that's up. Damn it. Up, down, left, down, left, down, down, up, left, down. Didn't work. Okay. Up, this one down, might be rough since it's on controller. Left, down. Left, down, down. Up, left, down. What? Okay. Up, down. Left, down. Left, down, down, up, left, down. Okay, there we go. I got it. Thank goodness. Oh my god, that foot Kirby is awful. <laughs> oh yeah, nobody likes foot Kirby. Also, by the way, uh, okay, okay, I gotta say, does <laughs> isn't isn't the uh, isn't the the large emote thing great. There's so much detail in Nova's little rolling fox emote that you just don't see at that size. Oh my god, I love it. That's one of those things. Oh, you know what? Oh my god, wait, you, if you can do animated, now I have to see. Now I fucking have to see what this looks like. Big dance! Yes! Yes! It is the biggest of dance! <laughs> is that, who is that? Who's being petted right now? <laughs> Darian, who is that? It's like a stock image. It's a stock image? <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed. I, you know who I thought it was at first? I thought it was German in a hard I hat. thought it was German. <laughs> I thought it was fucking German. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, you got? Can you uh, answer a question for me? Does my ass look fat in this suit? <laughs> my wife has a thing for large man asses. She can't get enough of this guy. Uh, what's his name? Germa? I think it's Germa. Who names a kid of that anyway? <laughs> it's always Germa's fat ass this and Germa's fat ass that. You know, so you know what I did? I got myself an ass transplant. <laughs> uh, you know, I didn't see you there. <laughs> and trust me, I wouldn't know, because frankly, you're flat as a board. <laughs> I fucking love that Columbo meme <laughs> so much. Gianni is so fucking good. He also does like all the ridiculously good Duke Nukem impressions. I sure hope so. I mean, I guess he probably did say that, but that's definitely Drew Gooden. No, that's Drew Gooden, but I, I'm pretty sure that there was a Duke Nukem. What the fuck? This meathead beating the piss out of me! So you remember the hike up the pants maneuver? Stop! I'm a white person with a gun, huh? Remember the uh, hike up your pants maneuver when you were hanging? Oh. Shoop! All you had to say is you gotta shoot it. I would have known. Oh my god. Eggman looks so good at that size. Also, is it bad that every time I see pixelated Eggman, I think of the uh, dorkly Eggman? Like his voice? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's like, that's just the only thing I think of now. It's almost synonymous with the pixel Eggman as like a brand. No. Oh my god, he does 20 per, per punch. No, I was jumping up. You cocksucker! How could you? I 
Ow! Ow! You know what? Oh, oh my god. Okay, never mind, never mind. I was just gonna fight, like, fucking try to power through that, but there's a lot more of these little fucking tripophobia balls than there than uh, I thought there was. I thought there was only like one or two. Ow! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> Borg. <laughs> oh, sh okay, never mind. I thought I got hit. I was too busy looking at the giant Borg. -or. Oh fuck. Damn it. No. Oh my god, during my story I forgot one crucial detail. I saw a Reddit mod in real life. Oh my god, Milo doesn't know this either. I heard her laugh. Okay, so no. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm telling this from the continue screen. Guys, I was in this doctor's office, and one of the guys that I mentioned that had an appointment went go to go back to his appointment, and uh, he comes out, and I'm sitting there with the, the two uh, rehab girls and postpartum girl. Everyone else is outside. This guy walks out, and he turns to the, the doctor or nurse. I don't know who she was that brought him out, and he says, he says, Tell your boyfriend he's lucky he gets to talk to you for free because the rest of us have to pay. Ew. Homie, homie was fedora clad with like a red button up shirt and a black tie and a vest, right? With a handkerchief completely like, like a red bandana folded up in his back pocket. No. You could not look more like the stereotype of the typical Fedorian than that. I cannot believe that. I know, I know. I saw it and I was like, they're real. It was like seeing a unicorn. It's like, they're real. Yeah, I, I, I thought that- <laughs> I thought it was a joke. like that on purpose because, you know, you don't want to look like a Reddit mod, but there's some people like this who are like proud of that. Look, considering how clean, like physically clean and showered he was, I will say, at first I was like, you know what? He's at least doing it big. Man's got his style, whatever. Then he said that and I went, oh no, he's not unique. He's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> and and the two girls from from rehab they were like oh my god that was yikes and i went cringe bro <laughs> like fucking cringe <laughs> that's so crazy i i oh my god to this day and i know it's still the same day but it just feels like it was years ago because i've slept now <laughs> i just can't believe that that was real i yeah, i, can't, I, wanna, I should have gotten a picture <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, that one trip to the fucking doctor was an event. I, it was so crazy. It was fun though. I mean, like I can't, like I can't say it wasn't nice talking to everybody. That would just be a, a blatant lie. Okay, give me one second. I want to smoke real quick. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna leave you guys with the. Gosh, I don't know. Do you guys want the continue music or should I put on like a track or two? Well, I I'll just put on a track or two. This music's like eight fucking measures. There's no way y'all want to listen to this. Then again, I don't know about y'all's attention span, though. <laughs> Damn. All right. So, um, what was I going to say? Uh... I love that Pride emote, Nova. It's really good. Honestly, I'm a little jealous. Hang on, let me make let me make the caros the caros dance big again because I'll be really sad. I think it loses frame rate when it's big. Uh, the uh the big rolling one loses frame rate when it's big too. Oh, it did for me. It wasn't. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, now the dance looks normal to me. Maybe it's just like every every now and then thing. I mean, these giant emotes are brand new. I wouldn't be surprised if if there's a little bit of like a an issue with them. Okay. Uh, you know what? I guess if I'm just doing this, let's go to the BRB screen real quick. Hang on, let me turn you up. 
I don't know what your situation's looking like right now, Milo, but you're a little quiet. And I only care because Jim is louder than you. Mm. At I'm least. Turn my up a tiny bit. Okay. Is this better? Uh, I mean, yeah, I also turned you up, so you should be all right. Okay. Well, let's see. You want that Giratina full oh. art? Oh, shit. Giratina is my favorite Pokemon. Uh, either him or Darkrai. Oh, sick. Uh, is Garatina it a booster box or the trainer box? Well, if Grandy said he was being financially irresponsible, I'm assuming it's the trainer box. Because booster packs are like, what? Well, you said booster box. That might be different. Booster box is probably bigger. Because aren't individual packs probably like, they're probably like eight bucks. Individual packs? No, not eight dollars. I remember that at one point they were seven ninety nine. I don't think so. The trainer box was like 80 and then the booster box was 150. Okay, so you got the bigger box. See, that's what's up though. So is that guaranteed Giratina full art or no? I like I, I doubt it, but it might be one of those promotional things that comes with just that box. I love I love the whole system with card games and like full arts and everything, but I do not have the money for that. I don't even have fucking gaming money. This copy of Earthworm Jim ain't even mine, homie. That's why when I make OK But Was It Fun, I want to stress the fact that this is for people that game on a budget. I am borrowing this copy from Darian. You want to get a pull so bad. Uh, you're going to get a big box for Carocon? Really? That's going to be interesting. Also, dear God, have you ever flown anywhere, Grandy? Whether yes or no, if if the answer you know if the answer is no, then I think one of the things is uh what cool because you're coming in via plane. Have you ever flown anywhere before? Like, are you are you familiar with how like TSA works and everything? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. You just wanna you wanna be very certain about what's in your bag, and you wanna you know make sure you check it appropriately. One thing I like to do is take a picture of what's in my bag because then at least I can prove that it was there if it goes missing. Because, like, I've had my bags rifled through a million and one times visiting various places. Um, obviously, when you go through customs, they're more likely to look through your luggage because, you know, you're going out of country. But, like, even on domestic, like, not domestic, but, like, flights between, you know, places in the United States, I guess you'd call that intercontinental flights. You know, I've had my, my luggage tossed and it's it sucks. Cause like, I've never had anything stolen, but I've had people like, I've, I've known people back in school and I think my mom's had stuff stolen. And sometimes your entire suitcase just goes missing. You know, if somebody wants something, they'll fucking take it. Unless you carry it on, you could just carry it on in a backpack. And then the only person that really knows is you and the TSA agent that did you into the scanner and then saw your penis if they scanned you. <laughs> Look, I don't make the rules. That's just how it is. It's not my fault. There's an anomaly in my pants. What, Darian? You you should you know about that? <laughs> like fucking. <laughs> I mean, it is really funny though. I, I like, admittedly, was it embarrassing when it happened? Yeah, of course. It's it's happened. I think two or three times at this point. But I love that the phrase is anomaly because like that's how I would describe it as well. You know what I mean? That's the one thing we can shake hands on. Is that like yeah, fuck. Like I don't. It's alien to me, homie. Like I. I'm not really a fan, uh, you know, unfortunately you guys are in, under inspection at uh, the uh, inspection category and not the extraction category <laughs> But yeah, I oh god when it comes to uh, When it comes to You know TSA it's it's like better and worse god, okay, have I Okay, let's let's have a little show of hands here. How many how many people have heard me talk about the story of me having sex with a TSA agent? Yeah. I know you've heard it, Milo. We live together. I know. Well, she was the craziest motherfucker I had ever met in my life. And like she was like asking for my address so she could show up. And I didn't realize this until after our look. All right. I was having a weird night. So I was going, I saw Bullet for my Valentine in concert. This isn't an excuse. It's just me framing what happened, right? So Bullet for my Valentine was playing at Emo's Austin and I had to go. And my friend Tamlin 
picked me up and brought me voodoo donuts because that's where she was working at the time and life was good and her girlfriend was there we were all going it was a great concert i'd been listening to bullet for my valentine for years right and um and uh uh, you know, since like, since like my high school and middle school days and, uh, oh man. And then I get this text. I think, I think it was on a dating app or something. And I think she had my number. I don't really remember the exact details, but, um, essentially what had happened was she, uh, she messaged me and was like, Hey, I live right behind emos or at least lived i don't think she does anymore i doubt it but like if she you know like fucking i mean there's not enough people here to go crazy it's so like you know nothing's gonna happen Andy, why don't you just pull up the quote list and then look for it you know what i got a better idea i just won't i just won't uh, oh well no there is no quote list so quote the quote list that used to exist was uh it was managed by stream labs so when we switched to stream elements after their whole deal with uh obs and like having an issue with like them using the term OBS in their name, which is why they're just Streamlabs now. Uh, so since we don't use o Streamlabs OBS anymore, and also there's so many other things wrong with that. Um, but because we don't, that's why the list doesn't exist anymore. Cause the place it was hosted was not only on Streamlabs, but the place it was physically hosted, like on the website was uh, also a Streamlabs website. God damn it, which quote is it? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which quote are you looking for? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know what number it is because we have so many, but like, I'm just curious. <clears throat> also, that got me off track. God, I really hope they call me back on Monday. I want to get, I want to get this whole uh, tangential memory thing in the past with whatever means necessary. <laughs> it's just, the funny thing is, it's just like... It would be so easy for someone to be like, yep, you got it. Well, no, what do you mean? I've had, at, 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 at this point, you. I have had two licensed professionals tell me that I basically, right. yep, got it. They just can't do anything about it, which is crazy to me. Oh, the anomaly? Oh, shit. Um... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The anomaly, it's like, I think it's early on. It might be, hang on, did you try quote eight? Uh, is it probably the, uh, buy my anomaly a drink? Yeah, 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 uh, buy my anomaly a drink. Oh god, I still can't believe I ever said that. No, okay, I, it's one of the early ones. Not eight, damn. Also, I was sucking Matt Pat off for that FNAF floor though. And now he's retired, which technically means that at one point, I sucked off a currently old man. And he's not old, like, logistically, but he's retired, which is an old person thing. Also a rich person thing. Homie made way too much goddamn money off Game Theory. Wow, oh, goddamn it. I am fumbling this first level because of these little floating testicles. Why are my legs sticky? We know why my legs were sticky. Everyone here knows why my legs were sticky. Okay, honestly, though, in hindsight, if I cut that out of context, that would make a great out of context for the fucking, uh, if I do a compilation of that. I think I'm going to try to do that. I downloaded a bunch of clips recently, or I guess not recently at this point. Um, and I wanted to put them together in different compilations, like out of context and stuff. But I just, I have to, I have to organize them because when you download them, none of them are labeled. So I have to go through all 52 of them, label them, and then you know, organize them how I want to organize them. Oh, what the f- <laughs> Grant, you, you were on some shit! <laughs> Yo, quote 37 is insane. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait a minute, I said that. It said at Grand Dev because you asked. Oh, I thought it said it was your quote at first because sometimes we sign it if it's not mine. I think I'll get it eventually if it does the thing. Everyone knows I'm straight for Renee. Aw, I miss Jerry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? You know what? Hold on. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm print screening that. I'm sending that to Jerry. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, hang on. I gotta send that to Jerry. That's so funny. He's not even on. This is like the first time I've never seen him online. A quadruple take. I just sent Jerry a screenshot of the quote followed by just some random anime girl from Tanner looking like, 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 wow, I can't believe it. You, you said that about me. I cannot believe that Jerry said that in 2019. A quadruple take. Ah. Oh. Oh, Jerry's so mean for putting that that wasn't a typo. Because I know that had to be Jerry. You <laughs> live in Spain, but the S is silent. Okay, honestly, though, I really feel like that shouldn't have been a quote because that was just stolen. <laughs> that was just stolen comedy. That's like, that's like Sloppenheimer. 100% stolen. Sloppenheimer is so good. Sl Look, Sloppenheimer's good, but it wasn't an. <laughs> I'm not saying it's like I'm not saying it has to be an original joke, but I I laughed so hard at it, thinking that Cosmos was witty, and then I hear and then I hear everybody making the Sloppenheimer joke, and I'm like, oh, so it was just like a thing. Mm. All right, hang on, let me pull back up. There we go. Okay, the code. Oh, that's such a good quote. Unknown game and date. Gosh, honestly, that was like quote one. That had to be like early 2019. Man, this is one of those things. I know we always talk about it whenever people do resubs and stuff, but like this is just one of those things. This is how you know we've really been through it together. Like we are not a huge community, but like, damn, we really got a lot of lore if you look at these quotes. <laughs> Well, oh, Scribble Knots. Yeah, yeah. No, Scribble Knots is Wait, fucked up. I didn't know you played Scribble Knots. I didn't play it to completion, so we will do it again oh. at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started it because I was bored one day, and then I never got back to it. But you got quote one again? You know you guys could just do, like... You could have just worked your way down the list at this point. It's funnier this way. True. You know what? Fair. Continue to cook, chefs. I'm sorry. All right. So, up, down, left, down, left, down, down, up, left, down. Oh, I'm so good. Carol, you did it. What do you mean I did it? Anything is a drug if you smoke it hard enough. True. Also, we don't have 69 quotes yet. Damn, we got to make more quotes. I have a roadmap. I just don't have it written down <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> okay, in hindsight, I never knew why that was funny until I read that back. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> what? I, I hit the thing. What? You bitch! Ow. What? Oh, that's bullshit. There was something there, but it disappeared. Bullshit! Bullshit! Alright. Is there any way to kill the muscle guys?
I'm in Spain without the eight. You're in spin. Also, where the fuck? Where's the dude? I bet you the second that I get down, he's gonna absolutely annihilate my fucking uh, my anus. He's just gonna he's gonna prolapse my asshole. All right, let's see what happens. I saw him. Back in the dirt. What that worm must he do? Is, is he gone? I don't know how he's gone. Okay, so shooting, shooting those little testicles seems to be the answer. Always shoot the testicles, babe. You know this. Babe, you don't shoot them in the dick. That's not cool. You gotta shoot them in the dick. It's disrespectful, honey. We're better than that. I'm not. Okay, so I can't get up there. How do I free my friend? Get out of there, hamster man! Can I not kill this dude? Oh god, no, I should have done that. Do I just have to, like, jump over you? Like, what's the shtick? You cannot jump over him. He just, he just wombo combos you too hard. I'm fulfilling a fetish for somebody. Please stop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most people have said that probably me, if they were doing any live streaming. Me when the, uh, what's it called? <clears throat> me whenever the, uh, the DDR stream goes down. <laughs> now I gotta figure out what yeah, pair of socks to wear though. I always vote the Baphomet ones. But you could do the gay ones for private ones. Well, so it depends on when I do it. So I gotta, first of all, I gotta figure out, if anyone wants to help me figure out games, I can just read a list and someone be like, ooh, that one. So if anyone wants to volunteer, I'll be around. But um, I gotta figure out the games. I'm figuring I need to pick probably two games in Friday Night Funkin', just because Friday Night Funkin' was pretty good last time. And apparently there's been an update. Um, so we got to do two games and Vriska specified that there was no specific games desired to be played. So I had, it is dealer's choice. Well, so no, 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 no. See, I said I wasn't going to let the dogs out. So I, I hope that, I hope that Vriska understands that. I will be in the socks, but everyone has their price. Yippee! You found the anomaly quote? Nice. He's so woke for a serial killer. <laughs> I mean, was that I was that about a uh, fucking Chucky? Was that about Chucky? Uh, yes. And his yes, gender that was, fluid yeah, child. Yes, that was about Chucky and his gender fluid kid. <laughs> I got a queer kid. You do? Gender fluid. <laughs> Are you okay with that? Jake, I'm not a monster. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the funny. delivery is so good. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I want to I wanna meet the voice actor of Chucky and shake whoever's fucking hand that is. I don't care. That's such a good line. The voice of Chucky? Yeah. That's uh, Brad Dourif. Bra okay, I don't know who that is. <laughs> um, so Brad Dourif is not really known for too much besides Chucky. Oh, okay. We're playing One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Okay, I I just, at this point, I have to at some point get his autograph because like anyone that's willing to say something with such fire just deserves honoring in my book. 
Just the delivery of gender fluid really does it for me. Not only gender fluid, like it's a matter of fact, like, yep, gender fluid. But my biggest thing is just the, I'm not a monster. And like, it's so <laughs> like, you could tell he's grinning through that. Just be like, and anyone who does is. <laughs> Or any, or sorry, and anyone who's not, because they're like, I think, I think he asks like, and you're cool with that or something like that. Yeah. Trying to get limp jaw to give me that ushy gushy blow. Oh my god, I miss fairy every day. I don't know what she's up to, but I hope that she's well, because I don't see her very often. But I know she's still in the Discord, so you know, one of those things. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get up there. Maybe I can like- You can you can get up on that platform, it's just kind of hard. What platform? The one you were trying to grab the side of. Oh, the one to the hamster? The one to the left. Oh, to the left. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. Yeah, you can get that. It's just a really hard jump for some reason. I don't know what they were thinking. Fucking bullshit, Desu. Oh, speaking of, I'm going to have to do Duolingo at some point. I got to do so much Hiragana practice. It's not even fucking funny. Like, I had five lessons of it done when I finished uh, my current chapter. And it's like, now I have to hit 20. 20 lessons of it. That's so much. It's not bad. It's just... I gotta tell you, the, it's not hard to learn which ones are which after a while, but the hardest thing about it is um, drawing them with no help. Okay, how am I supposed to... Like, do I just jump and grab? Do I have to, like, use my head or something? Okay, so apparently in the room before you, there was a hook on the ceiling you could take. Oh, so I need to go up from above. Wait. No, yeah, that's how I got there. No, the one on the upper ceiling? No. Oh, I can hit that? No, I can't. No, back in that first room, there's a secondary one very close to the ceiling. You'll see there's two in that general vicinity. The one oh. You... Yeah, it's way up in the ceiling, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have to do it sequentially, or can you just hit it by itself? No, you gotta do it sequentially. Oh, great. Here we go again. They really liked this uh, double whiplash idea. Well, you do have to hit it from that upper platform. You can't just go whip one and whip two. Because you can't turn around. That's okay. That's what I was. Going to do. So I should have just. Sorry, brain instead went oh. Oh, what the hell? I fell. All right, and fuck. I'm gonna hold up. Uh -huh. 
So what do I have to do once I'm in the pipe? Because it's not like sucking me up or anything. Yeah, you have to hold up, because if you're not holding up, it won't let you, uh... Gotcha. Uh -huh. Hold up to receive suck. I hate that I can't jump off a ledge and upswing. It's always to the side when you're in the air. Oh, well that's how you definitely pull it up. Then I figured it out by saying it out loud. Please give me a continue. was on the hamster what more do you want from me you got a nom at him i got a what you got a nom at him i didn't know that i could eat him yep just, you can just continue to spam the bite button and the hamster will just bite him. i bite didn't him. know like, there was a bite button damn okay i should have like tested out you the, that big letters. i should have i should have tested out the controls of my new hamster before taking it for a test drive Dear God, I'm so bad I remember in the short-lived TV show, they kept, they joked about this plant. This plant's called La Planeta de Agua, and every time they say it, it goes, Arriba. <laughs> Arriba. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, how did I get caught by that one? That's bullshit. Can I get another hamster or no? Yes. Oh, good. Yippee! What? What? Ah. Oh. That is not a very cool brushy. Not very cool at all. Ow! Ow! Okay, anyway, I'm so bad at that. No! You know what? I should probably just wipe. There's no way I'm gonna make it through the whole zone like this. Alright, you know what? Hang on, hang on. We're just gonna wipe. Kill me faster, you stupid testicle. Go find number four. He'll kill you quick. It's okay. It's quite a it's quite a long fanfare, honestly. It is. Alright. This is our continue though, so that sucks. Oh shit. Ah, No, oh my god, no. I totally jumped up. That's bullshit. Ow. 
Oh, damn it. They have quite the reach for those dogs. Oh, I definitely was starting to jump over. Oh, come on! That's twice I should have jumped over him. So he can grab you, like, even if after you hit the, uh, the jump button. That kind of sucks. Damn. Oh, shit. I'm gaming with Zale. Hope your stream goes well. I should tell Zale that you said you hate him. What? No! Don't say that! Also, hey! Oh, I know why you said that I said that. Okay. But no, it's just purely out of reflex, I swear. But yeah, sorry. I'm facing the, uh, the SNES, so chat's kind of off to my side right now. Oh, fuck. God damn it. You know what? Pause menu. We're just gonna warp. Because at this moment, we have one and a half, or two and a half lives. And this is our continue, so we need to get all that back. Let's not. Damn it. Damn it. Down, left, down, left, down, down, up, left. There we go. Okay. That Heard somebody was talking oh. shit. Nope. I definitely was not. No, I was not. I did not say anything. I said nothing. And there's no proof. So you can't prove it was me. But it wasn't. It sounds like the guilty thing to say. Shoji's making it up. <laughs> I, I am guilty of one thing. I'm guilty of one thing. That's being distracted while playing Earthworm Jim. <laughs> what did Shoji say that I said? <laughs> what you gonna do? Oh, that you fucking... <laughs> no, because I'm pretty sure the reason why I think I might have said, God, I hate this or something like that. Or, or maybe maybe him uh, as in like the mole rat from the game. I'm not sure. Or maybe this guy right here that keeps punching me in the schnoz. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Let me up. No, what the fuck? I was, oh. was basically there. Jim, love you to death, buddy, but you gotta back that ass up quicker. So, you know how I was bitching and complaining that I was like, oh man, up left, and you still have to hold it for some things, but knowing that you can jump and then use up to go diagonal is such a an easier thing to do. Hold on, let me see. Who would you trust more, your friend of four years or Caro? Damn, I trust everyone more than you. Get fucked, get fucked, Shoji. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I Yeah, uh, there you go, Darian's doing the large emotes. I was gonna do a large cry, but Darian's got me. Um, Are you that freezer guy? Oh yeah, are you that freezer guy? Cause I'm gonna deck you in the schnoz. Wait, what cursed crap? What Shoji been sending you? The kind of shit you be sending for? Look, cursed is like an iceberg, you know? It's like, how cursed exactly?
Man, speaking of choice chamber, we gotta play that sometime soon. I might be able to squeeze a couple of minutes in sometime during the 12 hour stream tomorrow. Yippee! Ahoy, Reginald! No, no, no! Why? Oh, fuck me. All right. Um, I hate to say it, but these big buff dogs probably got porn drawn of them. I just, I just looked at that and I went, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like nostalgic furries would be all over this. I feel like there was slim pickings back in the day. So yeah, probably. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? It's like you like, oh. you like Robin Hood as a twink. <laughs> That's like all you got. Oh, well, okay. We have a whole quotes chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Dictated to quoting all our cursed shit. Yeah, what was it? If I remember correctly, I think it was uh, Shoji's quote, I think it was quote 27 or 29 about cancer was particularly interesting. And I will not contextualize that more. Oh, I didn't see him at first. I need to shoot before jumping up there. It's such an easy contact damage point, but I can't see pa past that. The field of view is kind of zoomed in. No, fuck. Oh, I hit the roof. Now. <laughs> that is taken out of context. No, I don't think it is. I think it's I think it's perfectly normal. Oh my god, that's a good one, Zale. Actually, I kind of like testicular torsion. Well, I mean, look, look, that's a personal thing, you know, like that doesn't, that's not harming anyone except for yourself. Also, that's very Shadow Wizard money gang. Like the, uh, the spell that was removed from the, uh, the wizard spells or, uh, actual testicular torsion. I mean, is that not both? <laughs> I think one, I'm pretty sure one causes the other. Oh, I forgot to shoot that guy. It's true, but like, one can just happen on its own. Yeah, true. The other is a forbidden spell on par with ketamine ape. Yippee! I got, I got wrecked. They pull, you know what? Spamming it kind of works, but if you miss, you miss heavily. Home is where you are. Damn cold. Can't believe you said that. Ow. 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 Oh, Jesus. That sucks. I take so much early damage on this. No, wait, no. Why did I try to whip the dog? dog says I'm a top you can't look me <sighs> honestly okay if I die here I'm gonna grab the last piece of that Mr. Beast chocolate I cannot I'm tone deaf today I'm sorry I thought I was gonna hit it but I did not it's like it's my bad I'm sorry I'm at the issue a formal apology to everybody in chat I thought I had my shit on check but it's been a long day Damn, clearly I don't have my shit down. No! Alright, it's fine. I'm just gonna go get that goddamn Mr. Beast chocolate. Ah, oh, Milo. Huh. You wanna take a shot with me? 
I will take half a shot. Gotcha. Yippee! Hey! <laughs> 
All right, is everyone tired of hearing yippee? Yippee! <laughs> okay. The Zales being a bitch ass motherfucker. Man, everyone's a bitch ass motherfucker in this chat. You kidding me? I don't think that's, uh, I think it's one of the inevitabilities, like the sun being hot. Also, is Blizzy's net still gone? I think so. Oh my god, homie. Take a drink every time I take damage. Do not. I, I am officially on the tipsy side. I'm not drunk or anything, but I am officially tipsy and you do not, you do, no. If you take, and you'd have to take more drinks than me. Milo, you're, you're muted. I can hear her talking in the front room. I said maybe take a sip of water every time there she gets damaged. Yeah, yeah, water probably, don't, yeah. Don't take like a, a drink. Okay. Are you ready to be an infant fighting Mike Tyson? What a what a sentence right there. Also, Milo. Huh. Um I guess maybe Sunday. If you're down, I want to take apart the SNES controllers and the uh and both of the SNESs. And, and do maintenance on them. And we could maybe stream it and put my webcam on like, you know, the workspace. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, cause like, it's one of those things, like, I don't know if you can hear this. Hang on. Oh, I can hear that a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that noise is the fucking, uh, it's the D-pad rattling around. And it makes me, th and first of all, and not only is it the D-pad rattling around in the casing, and I'm sure that's kind of normal, but I'm almost certain this needs new gaskets and a, and a good, and a good, sorry, I just dropped it, and a good fucking cleaning. I mean, we could clean it, but like, we don't have any like gaskets or anything like that to like, make it repaired. No, so, so we would start with the cleaning and then make a list of stuff that needs replacement parts, kind of like okay. how the DS needs uh uh, what's it called? The DS needs- I need to just get a- you know what? I need to get a big bounty board screen done where I can list all the stuff we'll be accepting donations for. Cause like, I think one of the biggest things that would be nice, uh, to- to do that for would be, um... Oh shit. Oh god, that's that ADHD kicking in. Holy shit. Um... Well, yeah! Cause like, I forgot why I was mentioning it like that. Um, you wanted to clean something, and then you mentioned the DS. Oh, yeah, 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 because that's one of the things I want to take donations for, is if people want to, like, see Pokemon Ranger, I'm literally holding up that gameplay because I don't want to scratch the screen because we I just got new screen. Was that, was that Blaine's internet finally No, it was, no, it was Darian. Oh, did Darian's internet shit itself? No, I think he just left. Oh, I think he would have said something. Darian? 
Oh, you changed your uh, your thing. No, it's uh, it's technically been like that. You good? Yeah. My power surged. No way! Oh. What is up with everyone tonight? I don't know. You're just looking at clips and you came across the tank incident. The tank incident is a hilarious clip. That's one of the ones I downloaded. I I struggled so hard to get out from there and I wouldn't even drown. I drink meth and ketamine every time you take a shit. Interesting. Oh, a hit. Wait, oh, a hit. Oh, I said shit. Fuck. Anyways, Jim and Jim and time. Okay, all my net is now officially back. Hooray! Hooray! I had to make sure my sand was gonna be on because I am fucking baking in here. I am sad I did not bring more snacks. Oh no. Well, hang on, I have had like half a bag of cheddar goldfish and Oreos and stuff. You know, I bought some zebra cakes and I accidentally bought the hugest fuck ones. Oh. 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 I guess just get that Mr. Beast chocolate though. I don't want to sound like a sellout, but it's actually pretty good. The new formula is no, pretty big. the banging. new formula is actually really good. And, like, it's it's different peanut butter than, like, the Reese's peanut butter. Because Reese's peanut butter makes my teeth hurt. <laughs> what an interesting... Do you, see they have a, do you see they have a thick cup? Not, like, a really thick cup? No, I didn't see that. They have the jumbo cup. It's the equivalent of four, uh, four Reese's uh, cups. I'd, I'd fucking eat it. I am a whore for peanut butter. Damn, boy, she's thick. <laughs> Damn, can't believe how thick she is. Next thing you'll tell me, she likes propane. <laughs> now you gotta make propane with that peanut butter, though. I found a half a bag of cream savers. Cream savers? Mm -hmm. Cream savers. Hang on, I actually really want to buy this. I don't think they even really sell those here. I remember having those, like, a lot as a kid, though. I got the strawberries with cream one. That's the best one. Mm -hmm. The orange one's okay. But honestly, I'm a sucker for any strawberry flavored anything. Apparently, infused into Malibu rum creams or strawberry cream savers are amazing. I'll bet. I meant to bite off a segment of chocolate, and I bit off half of it instead. Ow. I mean, it's a small bar. That isn't like. Mama didn't raise a quitter, so I ate it. <laughs> All right. Yippee. The time of my demise. I lived. That's Pog. Yippee. What? No, no, no. Get me out I of this. Will. Get me out of the... <gasps> Have fun. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. I didn't want to get in this yet. I made it. Fuck you. <laughs> I lived, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. 
Sound like that when he gets in yeah, he's literally he's literally <laughs> he's just a southern boy. Yippee! It goes ow, ow. Darian, play it. Ow. Yeah, that's the actual thing. Wow. <laughs> I feel like in the Dorkly sketches, his voice was not southern enough then. No, it wasn't. All right, Choji, have a good night, guys. Oh, man. That was good. That was good chocolate. Is this different? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, no. You passed your uh, refill of air. Oh my god, I didn't know. It's over. I thought the map was going to be the same, so I immediately tried looking for the net. such a waste. So there's these little silver things that stick out the side. You align your little golden thing in the left-hand side of your craft. That's what that is? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's inside your, your crack? Yeah, that's your air. No, fuck. I didn't... Ah, oh, that sucks. Net's still down? Jesus. Is it like a service outage or something? That little silver thingy jutting out from the side. Line yourself up with it. I got it. I still can't believe that that's what that was. I thought it was just decoration.
Oh, and it explodes after you use it. How nice. Oh, there's the nets. Okay. Oh, I am so gonna die on the next hit. Man, damn, who made that out of actual glass? What an ass design. Couldn't have even plexied that shit. Back to the beginning of La Planeta de Agua. <sighs> La Planeta de Agua muy mal. I don't know why I keep shooting at that dog. I think it's the brain damage from being tired. Every time it's just like, open fire! Like I'm the LAPD or some shit. Damn it. I mean, at least it's not the Hellhounds. Honestly, I think I would prefer these to Hellhounds any day. I hate that that second one always gets me. Oh shit. Yippee! 
They do the explode because they are at the air. Oh my god. I'm taking so much damage from that one area. find the way in again. At least you can barely consistently get to this part. Yeah, that's true. Like you're progressing a lot faster during this than you were in what the heck. Yeah, and you know what? I would agree. And it's also definitely because the uh, the mobs are less threatening. Yep. A lot of them I would classify as stationary adjacent. Yeah, the boss's, ar the boss's army besides number four are just kind of stupid. Yeah, but you know what? Considering that they're expecting you to get through this in a series of four lives, I could see why some areas would be like intentionally less difficult. Also, the controlling for the bathysphere sucks. It's a 360 degree rotation. That's at the same spot, but the place to go to the left seems to be too small for the bathysphere. I know I've gotten over that before too, so I'm not really sure what I did. No, you're heading the right way. You have to go down, though, when you get to that part, when you get to that spot again. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but you can get down. Oh, damn. Okay, so it was just tight. Yeah. 
We were pretty much near the end of the level, though. I was gonna say something dark, but I'll refrain. No, tell me. I'm just saying the router twice, but it didn't work, so I assume it's Spectrum, probably. I know, right? You can hear that? Oh, yeah. Well, of course I can. My door's open. You know, I I wasn't sure if the Raycon everyday uh, headphones were cutting that out or not. Uh, Ow. no, okay. not this time. Hey, buddy. Ow. Bro, oh my god. He wombo comboed the fuck out of me. Three sequential hits. Nobody. It's okay. Be quiet. Ow. God damn it. These dogs have such a grab range. <laughs> Clobbered. Absolutely decimated. Does it control like the Ocean Gate sub? <laughs> I'm looking intently at the Nintendo, uh, the Super Nintendo controller, and all I can say is durability wise, better. Complexity wise, worse. Because at least they had a joystick on their controller. <laughs> you know what's really funny though? That controller they were using for Ocean Gate was actually so old that uh, MapleStory used to run a, run a promotion when they added controller compatibility that if you had that controller, you'd get a free chair. That's funny. Yeah. That deal happened in like 2010. <laughs> 2010, 2014, the latest. Oh, come on. I am getting the clobbered. Oh my god, I tried jumping over him. Sir, if you could please stop beating the shit out of me, I would appreciate it. My earthworm body cannot take much more.
Oh yeah, by the way, for anyone that's in the uh, Carocon group chat, we gotta figure out what day we want to do what activities, so we can like plan accordingly. I know obviously one of the days we want to commit to like party games like Mario Kart and stuff, but we gotta figure out which day, and then we also gotta just gotta figure out what day we want to do which. Cause I, I I hate going into things planless. Speaking of. Uh, I don't know if we can, Milo, but if we can, I want to get back more, uh, our online with Switch. Oh, yeah, you know? I know. Yeah, I, um, what was it? I keep forgetting that it lapsed, but it's just like, I want to, I want to, it's even like, more, especially now more than ever, I want to play some Mario Kart. Especially now that we have people that can't leave. That's a prime time to actually do a Birio Kart, though. Ah, uh, okay. Ripping off Birio Kart would be fun. Yeah. I mean, there are select people who could not participate in Birio Kart, but like. Well, it, it's okay because I think we would only have room for. I mean, I think we could maybe get everyone. I think Mario Kart does. I think I think Mario Kart does four. That's something like that. Yeah. Yippee! You have yipped your last E. <sighs> Probably not, sadly. Considering the professional said that she was 80 or more percent sure that I was ADHD, that, that, uh... Doesn't vote well for me. <laughs> Look, you're laughing. It was it started as a joke, but it's suddenly gotten very real. I always kind of thought this was just like our inside joke, like Doug Doug being bald. <laughs> no, baby, you have ADHD. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I know. Probably look, probably <laughs> asterisk. <laughs> Only two professionals have said that but not diagnosed me with it. So I can't I can't say that. I could you could say that for sure. But I won't because I still gotta get diagnosed, and then and then I don't know. Who knows? Maybe the I'm third. A professional. Maybe the I'm third. A fucking idiot. Maybe the third doctor will be like, "Nah, you're totally the most normal motherfucker I've ever met." And I'd be like, "Really?" And they'd say, "No." Honestly, that the way that like parents have the same fucking mental illnesses as you be. Yeah. Except my mom, who is also a, a licensed counselor, says, yeah, you got it. <laughs> Go, you got it. You know what? And it's one of those things she was messaging me earlier, and she's like, I kind of feel bad that we never, like, looked into it further. But I think that you being in, like, the quest program kind of, like, masked up a lot of it because you had, like, an outlet for your hyperfixations. And it's like, probably, but also me being hyperfixated on games would have been, like, a huge clue in. I know that people like games, but like I, I was like not doing my homework over playing games. I think that was probably just something though that people thought of as like a behavioral issue. True, no, well, well, well you have to say, or just like something absolutely normal that you would do yeah. as a fucking, you know, eight year old or whatever. No! Oh my god, I couldn't land in time. It was all money until it wasn't. Well, now you know where to go. What? That's bullshit. Oh. 
This is one of those things. I bet Earthworm Jim is super hyped to watch speedrunning. I keep trying to drop down after they're gone, but it's not working out for me. I looked over my closet because I was uh, taking a seat by any other snacks in there, and there's a 3DS game laying flat in the base of the closet. What is it? Oh. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon? Damn. Oh. How could you? You don't even keep it in a case. Or wait, I'm assuming it's not because you said it was laying flat on the floor. Yeah, I know exactly where it came from. Wait, it's not yours? I don't know if it's mine or not. I know, I, I think I own the game. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's like, that's like my Sleeping With Siren shirt, except I know for a fact that that shirt's not mine, and I don't know who owns it. Because my two suspects are my stepbrother, but like, it's definitely not his size, and then my, one of my friends from high school, but he hated Sleeping With Sirens, so there's like, no way it's his. But I think it was. And a year old expired pack of Fiery Five Bean Boot. Yeah. Expi expired hot jelly beans just in my closet. Jelly beans? Beans. Beans. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, Jim is just vibing in there while you're while you're controlling the damn thing. I mean, his job is vibing. He's the vibe conductor of this hype train. I'm the conductor of the poop train. Okay, Krieg. Whatever you say, buddy. Perfect, I made it. Barely any time to spare on that one. Oh, what the f- How am I supposed to get through there?
You look like the cat half of cat dog. How am I supposed to not get wombo combo? Oh, nope, I'm just supposed to get wombo combo, I think. Nice. That sucked. Oh no, there was a Jimothy life over there. I need that, actually. That sucks. <gasps> Yippee! Yippee! You have successfully cleared down the tubes. I did! I thought we had bosses to go. I thought we weren't even close! Anti-asteroids? Mm. I never thought I'd be so happy to see anti-asteroids! I was gonna say, yeah, about that. What? I'm pretty sure there's another level right after. But we get a warp code, right? I think I don't know. Please try. I'll be devastated if the answer is no. Also, Andy Asteroids, ye fucking ha. Huh? So how do I use the little shield thing again? Uh, it's one of the activation buttons. I don't know which one. Oh, it's A. Yeah, that protects you from one hit, and if you slap Psycho with it, it hurts. Okay. Don't forget to hit the little flamey balls, too. Those are very helpful for getting major distance. Yeah, speed boost. Easy peasy. Well, yeah, Andy Asteroids is always really Ruby. fun. Look, it was like my reward for making it past the Bioshock level. I'm pretty sure the next rat is what I think it is. What the heck? Shouldn't be. You're right, it shouldn't be. Why was it Andy Asteroids? Oh, did you put in the Andy Asteroids code by mistake? No, uh, no, I just finished down the tubes. I didn't put in any code. That's weird. Why am I back in hell? Did I do something? That's fine. We'll fix that. <laughs> I'll give you the. I'll give you the code for the next level. Hooray! There's supposed to be. There's supposed to be a tube race between, uh, down the tubes and the boss of down the tubes. Okay, give me the tube race then. I don't have a code for that one. Oh. That sucks. Why didn't it send me there then? I like how even if the game is paused, you still get to hear the screams of the damned. Yeah, for some reason, down the tubes does not have. Uh, not down the tubes. Um, doesn't go to tube race. That sucks. And this is the only iteration of the game that that doesn't allow you to warp to that. So we'll just move on to the next one. So let me the code. The only iteration of the game that doesn't let you warp to it. That sucks. That's a much easier code. It's 
not a problem. Oh no. This is my favorite level in the game. Okay, all right, here we go. That's the best soundtrack for it. Ooh. Pit death diving. First fucking time. Wait, back to Andy Asteroids? That can't be right. It shouldn't. It's red this time. Oh no, I see what it's doing. What? You're playing that level as if it's level one. So instead of playing New Junk City, you're technically playing... Oh my god, so it just doesn't, like, count in the chronological order? No. That sucks. Yeah, level warp codes are great, but... That's the problem with them. Yeah, the game is definitely really hard without them. I'll give it, I'll give it that. Yeah, that's why I think in one of my playthroughs. I just went with the lives cheat codes and whatnot, so I could just finish the damn game. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do the lives cheat code, but I guess it would at least let us have some continuity. Okay, Bozo hit a fucking rock. He uh, he gave me vengeance, so that sucks. Oh wait, another shot at Andy Asteroids? Weird. Yeah, you were half. You you were pretty much dead. Yippee! Oh, but I just found something that might help. What? Cool. It is in. Okay. Hang on, let me finish this race. There's no boosts in. Oh, there's the boost. Oh. No, I missed the boost. Nice, get fucked. Wait, this time it brought me to down the tubes. So try the level skip and see if it... Because remember, you started at what the heck, but you just finished it's not a problem level one. Oh! I just I just saw the code you sent me. Yeah. That's quite the level skip code, okay. A, B, X, B. Oh wait, that's not it. A, B, X, A, A, X, B, X, B, X, B, X. Yeah! Groovy! A uh, groovy! Tube race, here we go. Have fun. I am. 
<laughs> oh, this looks like it sucks. Jimothy so bad, but you can no have. yourself of oxygen. Damn it. I know you said don't, but I was like, there's gotta be something nearby while I was like going down the way and there wasn't. No, they call this two race for a reason. Oh. No time. No time. That's why you gotta get that going, because that one, I'm pretty sure, gives you more time. It does, actually. A lot more time. Yeah, this is the yeah, This entire level is just one giant tube run. Great. All I gotta do is take it easy. And if the thing starts cracking too much, hide your head between your legs and pray to Jesus. So there's only one more set of air and it's hidden. Fuck, really? It's at this curve, the left hand curve that you just, that you're coming up to or you would have just died at. That sucks. Yeah, you were actually, yeah, if you had finished that curve, got the air, you were about, I don't know, another 15 seconds for finishing the level. Damn it. You gotta go a little speedy, but you gotta, but, you know, you gotta make sure you're at least keeping it safe. Excellent time so far. Once you pass the next thing of netting, you're gonna have like a bit of a straightaway corridor almost. And then a big loop around. At the bottom of the big loop around, there's a hidden wall that leads you just more oxygen.
Fuck. Yeah, you're making good time, but you're also making where you have to go for the, um, the emergency air. No, I know. It just sucks, because I... I'm trying not to hit it against the walls. It's just, it's... That's the worst part about it. Yeah, it's really bad about, like, ricocheting off the walls. It's kind of pinballish. Yeah, just keep doing the new love next level. It'll just keep you going. Hang on. I gotta see what the hell my mom sent me. Milo, you're still here, right? Yeah. You, I thought you opened the mason jar kit. You thought I opened what? You know that mason jar kit we gave to my mom? Yeah. You opened it, right? Yeah. Did you look inside of it? Yeah. Are you- Pretty sure it was mason jar kit? Are you positive? Why? I just got pictures of what was really inside. What was really inside it? Hyper personalized gifts. Nothing bad, oh. but like, you want to come look at this probably. Oh, okay, hold on. I said, I swore Milo checked it, but I guess we'll come get it next time we're in town. I thought you did too. I thought you showed me what was inside. Oh my God, Duolingo is side-eyeing me for my fucking goddamn uh, uh, widget. Hang on, hang on. I gotta send this to you, Darian. He is giving me the bombastic side-eye right now. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> hey, Milo, you got to come look at this. All right, Darian, I said to you, look at this little motherfucker. <laughs> look, look, look at that little motherfucker. I, well, yeah, I feel bad too, because I thought it was a mason jar kit.
That's so fucking wild. That's so wild. She like not only was it like a personalized gift, and we open we opened it for the record. We opened this like box and it was just like a mason jar kit and we don't pickle anything. So we gave it to my mom who does pickle stuff and has like her own garden, right? That's so bizarre. get the uh i guess we're just gonna try to skip through all the levels individually and that way it counts in like the continuity of it all and then i'll give it one more try and then we'll probably have to call it for a night uh, the night after that just because it's gonna be late soon mm -hmm. let's see <laughs> you can hit the A to do extra groovies. That's funny, it just forces a win condition. It's like fuck you, Psycho. Groovy, 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 groovy. Oh wait, it's not the right code. A-X-B-X-B-X-A-X. There we go. You're gonna have that down to muscle memory. Honestly, though. It, thankfully, it's one of the easier codes. I hate that I discovered that. And with oh, your tapping okay. fingers. Oof. Uh, I want to see how fast I can get him to say groovy. All right, we got A B X A A. Uh -huh. Oh, that didn't count. Ugh. All right, A B X A A. Uh -huh. Now? Okay.
All right, here we are, back at Tube Race. Gonna give this the old college try. Oh, fuck. I forgot we don't immediately start at the, the bathosphere. No! Fucking cats. Damn it, I couldn't- I have yet to see the little silver stem that you're talking about. Like I said, sucks. hiding through a wall. Wait, through Yippee! a wall? <sighs> this fucking sucks. Yeah, it's very, very deep in it. So either you gotta go fast enough to get to the end quick enough, or you have to make sure you have enough to be able to like, find that secondary one. Yeah, I just don't know uh, where the end is, so that, that kind of makes it hard to gauge whether or not I should be pushing through or not. Oh, I'm so not making it. I keep hitting the sides. Yep. <clears throat> Yippee! Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, sorry, my brain on the mic. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. No, you're good. I just wanted to make sure you didn't fall asleep or nothing. I don't know. I'm good. Fuck. Barely hit the tip of the oxygen sensor on that. Yippee! All right, last attempt. And then it is bedtime for Caro. Well, I say bedtime. I might play like one or two games of something before sleeping. Good news after you finish this, everything else, every other spot is level warp. Oh, that's nice. So you don't have to do them in order, you can just put in the codes to get them done, you know? Yeah. It's just this one that's a man in the ass. And the worst part is it's not even that bad. Like, sure, it's a <clears throat> it's a tough level, but like there's no like enemies on it really. The only enemy here is you. Oh yeah, there is not a problem though. That that's going to actually be an issue. Why? Because there's multiple rounds. It's not a problem. Oh okay. Well, but you can. It's not a problem. It has a warp though. Yeah, only around one though. Oh, you're right. Well, we'll just have to do it throughout. It's not a problem then, probably. You're getting faster at it too. More accurate at the sub, by the way. Oh, that's good to hear. I was wondering how I was doing, because I, I don't know, it feels all the same to me at the moment. Nope. Nope. So that So that C turn you just made? Yeah. The bottom of that C turn is where it's at. So I just passed it? Yeah. You see, did you see that little glowing the, orb the, that you saw the, when you first came Yeah, out? like the two little lights or whatever. Yeah, it's through that wall. That sucks. Okay. 